Welcome Virgo to your reading on Scorpio Moon, Intuition Reading Messages from Spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest and if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels and highest and great is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to you all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. Alright guys, so I'm going to also spray down my area. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look. Spirit, can you please bring forth clear messages in regards to Virgos and love? What can you bring forth in regards to Virgos and their love interest? Please reveal to me Virgos and love. What is their current energy towards their love interest? How do they currently think, feel? What is it that they want? What do they want to do about the situation? What is the challenge and what is the outcome? Please bring forth Virgos and love. Thank you. Wow, so we have the moon. Now, there's something here that you're possibly hiding and um, what I'm getting is that you're really hiding from your emotions. Uh, you're keeping it to yourself. Now, I have a feeling that you're uh, thinking of someone who is a soulmate. Okay, uh, this is your other half. Could be a twin flame. It could be, uh, you know, just a soulmate partner. Whatever the situation is, you feel like you're drowning. Okay, you feel like, um, you know, it's very difficult uh, to really uh, think about the situation. And it's in regards to the wheel. Okay, so this is uh, karma. And uh, what you're thinking of is um, how you can have like a new beginning, a new chapter in your life towards your lover. Okay, so I have a feeling like this is a new person uh, or maybe a reconnection with a certain individual that you have um, your feelings for, but you're keeping it a secret. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Uh, are you willing to take a chance at love is what I'm hearing. Now, I definitely see that you want to communicate uh, to this individual that uh, things are not really working well with yourself. So perhaps you have been working on a career or maybe um, a relationship. And I have a feeling that you want to communicate that things aren't going well. Okay, and that uh, you have deep love uh, for this particular person. And you definitely want to reconcile or come together uh, with this uh, individual. This could be within three months. I definitely am feeling that you're connected to this person on a telepathic level. And right now we have Nine of Pentacles. So maybe you're too busy working. I really feel like Virgo, um, there's a lot of emotions that you haven't really addressed and you keep working uh, to kind of numb yourself from thinking about emotions, okay? So I have a feeling that um, you're not really invested into love, although you definitely are thinking of having like a new cycle in love, a new chapter. Okay, for some, maybe you're codependent in a situation uh, with a spouse. Whatever the situation is, um, you just have a hard time of uh, tapping into your, your emotions. So the whole thing here, and you know, this is the first card that came out. It's the moon. 
you have a hard time of expressing how you feel, you're definitely keeping it to yourself. So uh, I have a feeling that you've been overthinking about your love life, about who, who that person is that you would like in your life. You're keeping it a secret. You're not talking about it. So you're keeping your thoughts to yourself and you're observing. So you're searching for answers. You're trying to get some sort of idea about how you can uh, stop the overthinking and uh, get out of uh, the separation with uh, this particular uh, person but it's giving you a headache so you're having a hard time of opening up and i see that that's why you're holding yourself back you're not happy so there must have been something that happened between you and this person i definitely feel like it's a past lover and uh whatever the situation ship is uh you keep thinking about this uh individual and you're not happy okay for some you guys are resorting towards uh some kind of substance abuse to kind of numb the pain and i see that uh you're uh ready to communicate to this person really quickly but you're just not sure okay so you have a lot of thoughts but it leads you to nowhere that, that's the feeling that i'm getting because um things were not fair you could have been in a situation between you and another person this could be your love interest who is actually in another commitment take it as it resonates but things aren't really fair and for some you're going through a um a marital situation such as divorce or doing some sort of paperwork and it could be about children so um maybe for some okay you're dealing with uh child support um or uh something legally uh, dealing with kids and i see that uh you have made a decision that you're actually going to get out of a family dynamic wow so there's actually a lot on your mind virgo let's see what else So I definitely see here, okay, the underlying energy and the outcome is the sun and the moon. So uh, you could be dealing with a twin flame connection. However, uh, this is like night and day, uh, lightness and darkness, yin yang, balance, uh, okay, being in a state of duality. So let's backtrack, right? So how are you thinking is the world? Okay, so you really feel like you need to complete a cycle. There is a situation that needs closure and you have an awareness that in order to uh, wrap up this old cycle, you have to uh, kind of complete that cycle before you can move on with your life. And what I see here uh, in your feelings is that you want to open up and uh, offer a commitment or, you know, to start something new with a particular person in the 3D. Okay, so uh, you definitely want to make some sort of offer. It feels like a commitment or a promise or, you know, this could be a relationship. You know, for some, this is money, you know, um, but that's how you're feeling. You feel like you need to offer something tangible towards a particular person to close out this karmic cycle okay now also what i'm seeing is that what you want is you want time to do some reflection to gain some sort of enlightenment about what your next step should be again this is about having a new beginning making a decision between two options or two choices and this is in regards to a karmic situation. So I have a feeling that Virgo, you are dealing with a uh, soul connection and soul connections doesn't mean it's a lifelong partner, okay? A soul connection could be family members, it could be children, it could be a spouse, you know, take it as it resonates, okay? Uh, but I definitely feel like uh, there's some kind of soul tie uh, for a karmic lesson. And the reason why I say this is because I see here the world okay this is in reverse so if you want to complete a cycle 
okay this has to be in the upright position okay you still have yet to complete this okay also with your feelings is you know if you really want to complete this cycle and it's not complete but here you are you want to give a pentacle which is a new offer this is the ace which is a new beginning you want to give a new beginning towards a particular person but in order for you to do that you have to close out a cycle with the past so you're thinking about it you're not communicating this to anyone okay because i really feel like you're keeping your your feelings or your emotions to yourself and i see here in your actions is that uh you're having a hard time of letting go of your obligations so virgo i know that you are a perfectionist and you kind of want to do things in your own way i really feel like um you're very methodical and very slow at um handling s certain situations okay i definitely do see that so luckily this is the ten of wands in reverse so you're actually letting go of this burden which is good okay so the challenge here is uh, this king of pentacles in reverse so what i'm seeing with this is that your challenge is to be more giving okay uh right now you're being stingy now everyone's situation is different um there could be a reason why you're being stingy maybe you don't want to give into a situation where a karmic is manipulating you for uh, financial reasons okay uh it could be a variety of reasons right whatever the reasons are i see that that's why you're you're kind of held back you're you're tired of over giving because maybe uh you know whoever that is around you uh, has expectations that you're going to do that for them but what i'm hearing is that you need to stand your ground you need to let go of these expectations on um, everyone that's around you you know maybe it's because you feel the need to nurture or you feel the need to cater to everyone maybe you're a people pleaser right uh maybe uh, you're seeking validation that if you do these good things okay these humanitarian things that you're going to uh receive some sort of accolades of your your good works but i have a feeling that um whoever that you're surrounded with okay this is a karmic cycle that needs to close okay you're already over given in this situation and you need to comp complete that cycle because um i see that in the outcome we have the sun you're starting to see the truth in clarity that um the reason why you have been holding back is because you intuitively know that you have been over giving and you're not receiving uh back in return so you feel depleted and once you're depleted you're going to feel like you're drowning in the abyss so you know in order to take your power back you need to nurture yourself okay that's what i see so let's go ahead and take a look at your person spirit can you please reveal to me who is this person that virgo is connected to in love who is the person that virgo is connected to in love Please reveal to me who is this person that's connected to Virgos in love. Thank you. Well, we have temperance, you know, automatically this is my twin flame card. Okay, for some, you're dealing with the Sag energy. Whatever the case is, this is um, a, a relationship or situation that is based off of stability and it feels fresh okay so your person is willing to change to really balance out uh the situation between you two i really feel like your person is being very patient okay so they could be testing the waters wow look at this we have here three of cups now uh you know both you and your person are thinking the same things because i definitely saw that you also uh wanted the three of cups okay both you guys are really thinking about getting back towards one another okay that's what i'm seeing also uh they really feel like they can't offer you much okay so maybe this person is broke 
or maybe uh, you know they don't have much to offer you know and I see that you feel like uh, you want to offer uh, a situation to a particular person okay this person feels like they can't give you what you're looking for you know that could be the reason why you're feeling depleted so maybe uh, you know you don't know what to think okay so you're uh, protecting how you're feeling in regards to a karmic situation okay karma could be good or bad okay it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing but i have a feeling like you're in a state of duality with this particular person again we have the moon jeez your person is keeping uh their feelings a secret okay that they want to get out of feeling stuck in their head and they're looking at their options and they want to return and reconcile with you so i have a feeling like there's a past person that wants to come through uh they're definitely uh, are you know kind of like uh checking you out they're trying to see what you're up to and you could get communication from this person okay that they still love you this person uh really feels very deeply okay their feelings run very deep they've always loved you you could be done with a, a water sign okay but they're not very clear on how to communicate this to you because they they feel they feel like it, it's just too much so it's a very similar energy now with you you feel like it's too much you're learning to let go your person is marrying you so i have a feeling like this could be a twin flame connection okay your person finds it very difficult uh to approach you with their feelings i have a feeling that whoever this person is they always had love for you but you know for my virgos you know you could be in a karmic situation so there's some kind of karma that you need to resolve because it's the first card that's showing up and what i'm sensing is that you just need more time okay so it's very virgoic energy right uh very methodical okay taking your time uh to really uh contemplate your, what your next step should be and for your person okay uh they they really feel like uh, they want to protect themselves from being hurt so um you could be dealing with an aries i feel like your person is planning okay to make some sort of offer they could be working right now but i feel like your person uh would really like to uh settle down with you and have a relationship so this could happen in a matter of two months okay so let's see what else your person's really patient with you though okay i definitely do see that okay so right here we have the four of swords now i see that your person is really thinking a lot about the connection um they're really hurt over some kind of a third party okay so some sort of third party uh interference came in between you and them okay and i see that um they really want to communicate their truth about uh, a stable offer okay um that's the feeling that i'm getting now for you you need to end the cycle so both i really feel like you and this particular person are in a uh, physical separation okay that's what i'm seeing also uh we have here the world your person also wants to complete a cycle so they can have a new beginning with you and here you are you want to offer this person a brand new beginning in the physical okay so there's completions of cycles both you guys feel the very similar um about moving things along now uh what does this person want we have here the seven of pentacles in reverse uh you know for some it's been seven years uh with this particular person and um they really feel like in the past seven years nothing uh, ever came into fruition nothing ever worked this person actually planted a seed a long time ago and it still hasn't grown okay so uh they're starting to lose their spirituality or maybe um 
you know, their commitment to this connection. I have a feeling that you and this particular person are in separation. And I really see that you're still thinking about what your next step should be. So Virgo, I mean, uh, it's going to be different for everyone. But I have a feeling that whoever Virgo that I'm channeling, um, there's a, another situation that you're uh, dealing with. Okay, and so you have to reflect. You have to really think about what is it that you truly want. But again, you know, you're keeping everything to yourself. You're not even uh, talking about it uh, per se with anyone. Okay, uh, I feel like you're trying to um, figure it out on your own is what I'm hearing. So uh, in the actions for your person, we have here Ace of Cups in reverse. So your person is uh, repressing their emotions. Okay, they're keeping their feelings a secret about having a new beginning. You know, as a matter of fact, your person feels rejected. Okay, they don't feel the love. And um, you're actually trying to let go of uh, things that are, are just too much. So, I mean, both you and your person um, are feeling a little bit dumpy right now. And it's for different reasons. Okay, I seriously think that you and this particular lover uh, are not are no, in no contact. You guys haven't been talking. And you guys are in two, uh, two uh, totally different situations. Because uh, that's what it feels like. It, it feels disconnected. Okay. Also, what I'm seeing here is the five of wands and reverse. So the challenge is for your person to not fight, uh, to not really compare themselves towards other people. You know, this isn't a competition, right? You know, and for you, uh, what I'm seeing is that you need to really open up. You know, why why are you uh, pushing this person away? You know, is it because of your physical obligations and duties to your current circumstance or situation? You know, so your person is really trying to feel that, um, you know, there shouldn't be a blockage or barrier between you two. This person really needs to feel invited uh, toward your company or, or just, you know, uh, in your energy, your energetic field. But you're really closed off right now. Okay, so you need to work on opening yourself up and your person really needs to uh, not really feel like um, they have to compete for your love or your affection or any kind of like interest whatsoever. So in the outcome, I see here three of pentacles and it's in reverse. So your person feels like they can't work on this. Okay, uh, it's it's possible because there could be a third party energy here involved. Now, this could be your person who actually has like a third party or there could be a third party uh, situation involved between you and them. Or perhaps Virgo, maybe you have the third party. Take it as it resonates. Now, the third party doesn't necessarily have to be a, a, a person. Okay, it could be a situation, it could be a job, it could be because of personality, it could be uh, children, right? It could be anything. So let's see what else. I see your person is coming back. So they're coming back. Wow. And I see here the Ten of Pentacles with the Nine of Wands. So um, they're really blocked about having a long-term commitment with you. I see that whoever this person is, um, they want to come back toward you. Uh, let's see. What is your energy? Well, we have here the devil in reverse. For some, you're done with the Capricorn. Now, what I'm getting with this is that you are starting to see that you have to let go of this toxicity, whatever toxicity means for you. Uh, it's really anything that is dragging you down, that is not for your highest and greatest good, any kind of negative beliefs, negative self-talk, um, any kind of codependencies, addictions, you name it, okay? It could be any of those. And look... <laughs> I see you're walking away. So you're walking away from something that is toxic, that isn't really fulfilling, and you're stressed. So, you know, I don't see much action. I see you're just all in your head. You've been really um, kind of maybe torn between situations, and you're not in the best vibration here. So uh, there's a lot of thinking, okay, uh, from what I can see from my Virgos, and you really feel like... Um, you can't move forward. You don't even want to invest into anything. 
So it's not so much the past situation, it's not so much the future situation, but in the present moment, you're not feeling very good. You know, you don't even want to make a decision. You're keeping your emotions to yourself. You feel like you're drowning. So this is all about you, how you're feeling. You feel torn between two energies and, you know, you're keeping your feelings to yourself. That's what I have. So let me know if that resonated. So let's go ahead and see what is the confession that your person would like to say towards you. What is the confession, please, Spirit? You know, your person, um, they're really stressed about having this long-term uh, family with you. But I have a feeling like you don't even know what you want, Virgo. That's why your person is holding themselves back. So as much as your person really wants to pursue you and come back towards you, they have a hard time of doing so or believing so. Maybe it's because you're closed off. Maybe uh, you're not in the vibration of opening up towards a, a, a new love, uh, you know, uh, encounter right you know i have a feeling that there's something personal that you need to deal with before you can open yourself up towards true love that's what it feels like so let's see Sometimes I just don't know how to reply or express what's inside of me, but I do read and even write up to what I want to send back. I just freeze up and delete it. So whoever your person is, they've always uh, wrote you a, a message. Like, let's say that they've wanted to text you, but no matter what they say or do, they really feel like um, it wouldn't be conveyed in a proper way. And, you know, maybe the timing wasn't right. Uh, they get cold feet um, and so I have a feeling that as much as your person really wants to communicate to you they just they can't they delete it you know they, they get scared you know maybe they're scared of rejection maybe uh, you know you know the feelings are mutual so your person um, still is thinking of you they really want to return but you know maybe now is not the right time Is there anything else? We have, I have deep wounds from childhood to heal. I know you can help me, but I'm too proud to admit that I want or need to be nurtured. Now, this could be you, Virgo. Okay, this could be your lover. Take which one resonates because Virgo, maybe this is you. Sometimes you just don't know how to reply or express what's inside of you because I definitely see that that is your energy. You have a hard time of expressing uh, your feelings. Okay, that's that's what I see and it could be with the cancerian energy over here Okay Take it as it resonates. Maybe you have cancer in your chart That's what I see so let's go ahead and uh end this reading with a surrender message We have surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. So, you know, just be creative, you know. Um, you know, maybe you need to have a creative outlet. This is exploring your, uh, your inner child, right? That's what I'm feeling. Also, we have surrender your ego cultivate gratitude and be of service to others and come from your heart a big ego can work against you but humility will further your goals so this is about your ego are you uh, being of service towards other people um 
for something, you know? If you're doing it from your heart, that's one thing. But if you're doing it, you know, uh, to win praise or affection, you know, in a public sense, you know, that is not love. That is an attachment. You know, also, that's your ego. So, you know, uh, be a little bit more creative. Work on uh, some creative projects, right? Uh, surrender to your ego. Just let it go, okay? You know, you do for the highest and greatest good for all humanity, okay? But you have to nurture yourself also. So that's what I have. Um, I really hope that this reading was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.